All right, so if you're watching this and you are trying to look for ways to avoid overwhelm, you're getting, maybe you're in a situation right now where you're being overwhelmed or maybe you're kind of feeling the, um, the negative effects of overwhelm. What I wanna do is I wanna share with you a couple of great tips in this video about how to handle overwhelm, how to not let it burn you down and so on. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to be real honest with you. Overwhelm is something I live with every day. Um, just so you understand me a little bit, this isn't going to be like your regular old, like doing all the tips kind of video. It's going to be kind of raw. I don't know how emotional I'll get, but I need to kind of be op very open to you so you understand why I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you about overwhelm. It's important that you understand this. So, I live with overwhelm every day. I'm constantly in overwhelm. I'm not saying that this, there's no pride whatsoever in this. I hope you understand this. This is not a prideful energy that I'm trying to give to you on this. The reason I live in overwhelm is because I, there is always something I want to do. There is always some new idea or something that really excites me or I'm like, because I teach people how to do everything authentically. I'm always around the right people because I know who the right people are. The more, it feels like the more and more I understand my strengths, the more and more I get into overwhelm. Um, so I live in it. This, uh, this, the last two weeks, I've had so many things that I am doing that I am actually unable to even respond to very close friends text messages like I have I have a couple of very close friends a few actually more than a couple several close friends who have texted me two weeks ago that I still have not responded to and I wake up going oh my gosh I need to call them back or oh my gosh I need to text them I need to apologize I need to say I'm sorry because I'm I'm so far and overwhelmed in the last two weeks why am I in overwhelm? Is because my very good friend Mark Harvard has just lost a pro launched a program, and I am pushing like I have never pushed before to help as many people see just how amazing it really is to decide to get it. And I have created a whole program so that if everybody who purchases this program through my affiliate link, I'm going to work with them personally for an entire year. Do you hear what I just said? Like I literally every day I'm trying to tell people about this program. And I'm going to work with them personally for a year. So there's that. And I have six amazing children, right? Who have tons of different schedules. I've got a book I need to finish writing. I've got another book I need to record audio for. And then I'm constantly getting these wonderful ideas on how to grow my life and business. Today, I decided I'm going to do a five-part video series. You might have seen it. I posted the first one today. So I'm going to do a five-part video series on how to help you, you know, ge generate leads for your business using video. And then at the same time, I'm trying to figure out how to continue losing weight. I lost 17 pounds in the last uh, couple of months, eating better, watching my blood sugar, right? And then, you know, I'm trying to get a whole bunch of stuff done before I leave on a trip to go to um, Orlando, Florida in a couple of weeks. And I'm literally going to take the week off. And I'm panicking about how much I can get done between now and then, right? And then I have this wonderful strength called Activator that like constantly gets excited about new, um, about new ideas and new things to do and new people to do them with. And then I want to just call them all. And so I send Marco Polos to the guy who builds my website funnels and my emails. And I'm constantly messaging him going, oh my gosh, let's try this. Let's try this. And then I talk to uh, my friend Jay and Spring who work for me. And they, we're, I'm like, hey, let's, let's get on this. Let's also get on that. And then I go, oh my gosh, I'm 10 minutes late to go pick up my kids from school. My kids are sitting outside in the freaking snow waiting for their dad who's way in overwhelm and getting home, getting there late. Y'all, this is like, this is my life. And so if you are struggling with overwhelm or if overwhelm causes you to be something you're not, I've got something to share with you. I just want you to understand that this is a, a thing that I deal with every day. And this is how I look at overwhelm. It's either a bull, a bull, like a mad, angry, wicked bull that I have to ride. 
And if I don't ride the bull, then I get sucked into a tornado and the tornado whips me around and takes me into places. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. So either I ride this bull and embrace getting bucked around by the bull and getting hit in the face by the horns and, you know, and I'm getting like, like I just did a bull sound. I'm getting knocked all over the place. Or I get off the bull and get sucked into a tornado. This is what it's like for me. So I just want to share this, this thought with you all because I, I just got off a call with a group of people where people are overwhelmed by some of the things that I'm teaching and training and sharing. So what I want to do is I want to share a couple of great tips about overwhelm. First off, and this is what helps me deal with this emotionally and physically. So just so you understand what's at stake for me. I have a grandfather, a brother, and a father. All of them all passed away before the age of 55, 55 due to heart disease. So you better believe I'm not interested in letting my life put my health in danger. That's not going to happen. So I want you to understand, how do I deal with that level of overwhelm? And still manage to keep my blood pressure like looking really good, even like eat better than I've ever ate before, grow my business more authentically, and still be the like the best dad I can be, and, and at least a pretty good husband. Right? How do I do that? It's because of the way I look at overwhelm. Overwhelm to me is like a balloon, okay? When it comes to how to deal with it. Yes, it's a it's a, a a bull and a tornado, but the way I look at it is that I am like like a balloon, and I can expand. I can expand to the point where the thing that overwhelms me right now will be boring and easy later. That's how I look at overwhelm. I want the thing that overwhelms me right now to be the thing that I can do in my sleep later. That's the that's how I look at it. And the only way that I can make what overwhelms me right now into something that is boring later is if I embrace it and I learn to ride the bull of overwhelm and I just take breathers, I walk, I meditate a lot, okay? I meditate like 30 minutes to an hour every morning and I walk into the storm and I say, yeah, Bring on that freaking bull because it's going to be something that might overwhelm me today, but tomorrow, piece of cake. And so here's my, that's my lesson to you is to stop running from overwhelm, to embrace it. And I want you to understand that if every time we run from overwhelm or we hide from overwhelm, we are only contributing to the shrinking of who we are. We're not saving ourselves. We are shrinking. And my friends, look at overwhelm as simply a measurement of where you are, where your balloon can expand to. Allow the overwhelm to show you where your limit is. Take a little breather so that it comes down and then bring it back up again. This is how I look at it. This is how I look at it. So I can tell you right now, the things I'm doing right now, would have destroyed me six months ago or even a year ago. It would have destroyed me. I'd be in the hospital right now with chest pains, but not, not right now. They don't now because I've allowed the expansion to take place. So my friends, if I could challenge you to do one thing, it would be this. Stop living your life under the belief that overwhelm shouldn't happen. It's supposed to because that's what we're supposed to do as growing human beings. We're supposed to embrace overwhelm. I don't mean just throw yourself in there and have a heart attack. What I mean is that welcome it. It's the expansion of you. That's what overwhelm is. It's the expansion of you to help you become more of what you want to be. And that's what you were created for. You may or may not believe this, and that's okay if you don't, but I need to preach to you a little bit. God did not create you to shrink. I know that. He has said that to me. And I'm saying it to you. You were not created to shrink. You were created to expand. You were given an infinitely unique set of strengths 
and an infinitely unique set of experiences, which means you were designed to expand and open what you see that other people can't so that the rest of us can benefit from your being alive, your existence. And we can't partake in what's great. In a, a, we can't, we, the rest of the world, can't partake in what's great and infinitely unique about you if you keep running from overwhelm. And for you, on the other side of overwhelm, on the other side of expansion, is like the land of Oz. It's like a whole other world that you didn't even know existed. A whole set of strengths and skills and talents that you didn't even know you could learn. This life was designed for living, y'all. Please embrace overwhelm. Learn how to handle it. Do not learn. Don't teach yourself or other people how to run from it because you're afraid of stress. Stress is simply telling you this is your current limit. But don't run from it. Expand it. Don't ask for other people to go easier on you. Ask you to get better. Don't ask for the world to change to your beliefs. Ask you to ask yourself to get better. That, my friends, is how we freaking walk this existence. And when this life is done, when the day comes and you'll know when it happens, when it happens, you're going to end those moments. I promise you, if you live your life, the majority of your life, embracing the storm and embracing the bull of overwhelm, I, pr I promise you, I don't know how else to live. I promise you that when you're on that bed or wherever you are, when you know your day is done here on this existence before you move on to the next one, I guarantee less regret. I guarantee almost no regret. In fact, I'm willing to accept the fact that there will be zero regrets about my life, except that I wish somebody had told me about overwhelm sooner. That's all. So I love you all. I hope you all have a wonderful day and know that you're not required to do this by yourself. This is why we created the Unleash Your Strengths community so that you are embraced for being different, just like we all are. And you have a place that you can talk to someone. So if you're not already a member of the Unleash Your Strengths community, it's called the Unleash Your Strengths group on Facebook. Go find it. Go join it. Go bring your strengths report. I promise you, you will be celebrated inside of that group and you will be supported. Have an awesome day. I love you. And um, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, share this with somebody. If this was helpful, share it. If there is something I can do to support you to move through and embrace overwhelm more using your strengths, message me. I'll do my best to get back to you. I am, I've gotten crazy busy lately and I'm having, trying to handle that. Um, but that's, that's what I want to do. I want to be of value to you as you walk through this life and this existence. Have an awesome day. We'll see you. Bye everybody. If you like that video and you want more, go get your strengths and subscribe.